But we start with the extraordinary news from Australia. And after being detained at Melbourne Airport for eight hours, Novak Djokovic has now been denied entry into the country and has been told to leave. Djokovic was granted a controversial medical exemption to play in the Australian Open, a tournament which requires all players to be double vaccinated. But authorities have ruled that he has failed to sufficiently prove why he's exempt from receiving the vaccination. And now his visa has been revoked and he faces being deported. Well, the Australian Border Force confirmed the news. This is what they said in a statement. The Australian Border Force will continue to ensure that those who arrive at our border comply with our laws and entry requirements. The ABF can confirm that Mr Djokovic failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet the entry requirements to Australia and his visa has been subsequently cancelled. Non-citizens who do not hold a valid visa on entry or have had their visa cancelled will be detained and removed from Australia. The ABF can confirm Mr Djokovic had access to his phone. Well, Djokovic may remain in Australia for some time yet as his lawyers file an appeal. The tournament starts in 12 days' time. Djokovic's participation was already highly charged due to his outspoken comments over vaccinations, but the latest developments have threatened to escalate the matter into a diplomatic incident with both his father and the president of Serbia lashing out at Australia's handling of the situation. Uh, Sudan Djokovic, his, his father, said this, they are holding my son in captivity for five hours. This is a fight for the world of freedom. This is not just a fight for Novak, but a fight for the whole world. While the Serbian president, Alexander Vucic, lent his support and he said, I told our Novak that the whole of Serbia is with him and that our bodies are doing everything to see that the harassment of the world's best tennis player is brought to an end immediately. Well, this was the scene at Melbourne Airport as Djokovic was being held in a private room and, according to his father, being guarded by armed police. As well as doubts regarding the evidence supporting his vaccine exemption, it was thought he had issues with a potentially erroneous visa application. His coach is Goran Ivanisevic, and he posted on social media at around 5 in the morning Melbourne time as he waited for Djokovic, writing, not the most usual trip down under. Well, Djokovic's participation in the tournament was already a contentious issue due to his public scepticism regarding vaccinations. Uh, Melbourne spent longer than any other city in the world in lockdown and before his arrival, the Australian Prime Minister warned Djokovic that he would be on the next plane home if he couldn't sufficiently prove why he was exempt from the vaccination. Any individual seeking to enter Australia must comply with our border requirements. Now, Novak Djokovic when he arrives in Australia, I'm not quite sure when he's going to turn up, but I don't think it's too far away, he has to, because if he's not vaccinated, he must provide acceptable proof that he cannot be vaccinated for medical reasons um, and to be able to access the same travel arrangements as fully vaccinated travellers. So we await his presentation and what evidence he provides to support that. If that evidence is insufficient, then he won't be treated any different to anyone else and he'll be on the next plane home. There should be no special rules for Novak Djokovic at all, not, none whatsoever. And so if medical uh, exemptions have been provided by medical profession professionals, and that's been furnished to him as a, a proviso for him to get on that plane, well, that will have to stack up um, when he arrives in Australia. But he'll be treated no different to anyone else. And my view is he should be treated no different to anyone else. Well, the Australian Open CEO, Craig Tiley, defended awarding Djokovic an exemption to play, but understands the controversy it caused. We completely understand and empathise with, uh, with, first of all, some uh, people being upset about the fact that Novak has come in because of his, his statements over the past couple of years around vaccination. Um, however, it's ultimately up to him to discuss with the public his condition, if he chooses to do that, and the reason why uh, he received an exemption. Uh, we as an event, uh, also as a state and as a country, will do everything we possibly can to give everyone an equal and fair opportunity to come into the country. And if, it's, if they come in and they come in through the guidelines that are set forth uh, and the conditions of which they can compete, uh, then they're granted with an exemption.